Good morning. It's like 6.50, which is early for me, so I'm feeling pretty tired, but so excited. I'm about to leave for LA in a couple hours, which I've never been to, surprisingly. Never been to California. And like, I feel like one day when I'm rich, like that's where I actually belong. But I'm actually going for work for a couple days and then extending my trip for a few more days to make it a personal trip, which worked out perfectly. Although I'm extremely embarrassed about this 45 pound, huge ass suitcase. In my defense, I don't know what the frick to pack when it's 60 degrees out there. Like, that's such an in-between temp. Like, I'm not gonna be warm, but I'm not gonna freeze. So I need to bring like layers because I'm always cold. So the big suitcase is very necessary. My flight's delayed, of course. Only like 20 minutes though, not bad for how bad Chicago weather seems. But I couldn't find like anything to eat. I had like a little thing of grapes earlier and a soy latte. But this flight's like five hours, so I wanted like real food. So I like literally went hunting for something, like a veggie wrap, and I found some place that had PB&J on the kids' menu. So I got that, and it came with chips. So little eating chips at 9.15 in the morning. Also, I just got these headphones like cheap on Amazon because I needed like over-ear ones because the buds always give me like headaches, you know? But I feel like a total douchebag walking around like this. Like, they don't fit in my bag and I feel like a tryhard. All right, friends, as always, it's very difficult to vlog when I'm around my boss, AKA impossible because that's embarrassing as frick. But today has been magnificent. I got into LAX at like 12.30. Then met my boss at the hotel. We worked a little bit, had a client meeting for an hour and a half, which also went well. Then we went back to Santa Monica where our hotel is to like a happy hour at a place called Shutter's Hotel, but they have like a restaurant facing the ocean called Coast, I believe. So I literally got like avocado toast, chips and guac and salsa, this weird like artichoke thing that I didn't actually love, but the rest was amazing. But now I'm at my hotel room, as you obviously can tell. I'm staying at the Shore Hotel, which is very funky, like orange and blue, getting these Illini feels. Nothing too fancy about it, except it's nighttime, so it's hard to see. But my view, and the glare, shit. My view, that like blue dot back there is the Santa Monica Beach Ferris wheel, and that's like the pier and the roller coaster. And then here's like my hotel, like pool, fire area. So excited to see what this looks like in the morning. Hopefully cute. Anyway, tomorrow I'm hoping to get up early. I did it in Miami, so I have faith in myself. I can do this, you guys. I really wanna walk the beach. So I'm hoping that I can convince myself to wake up early, do that. Then I'm probably getting breakfast with my boss. Then we're going to the Westlake Village office for our company and like working with our media team there all day. And then it's freedom. My roommate's meeting me here and we are gonna have some fun. So here's the deal. I got up, it's 6.30, which is only 8.30 central time, so not bad. But it's literally 45 degrees out right now. And I feel like I have to go out there anyway because it's beautiful. I'll show you like the daylight view. Like literally that's the ocean and the beach. Like. I feel like I have to go and just like bundle up. I think I gotta try it. Hopefully this is warm enough. Leggings, long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt, skirt. We gotta try. I don't know how, but I'm perfectly fine in this outfit. I feel like if I were in Chicago and it's 45 degrees, I would still be wearing my puffer coat. So maybe it's a different kind of 45 degrees. Either way, I'm comfortable and I'm happy. Okay, so I went to this place called Dogtown Coffee. It was like 0.5 from the hotel. I literally marked like three places in my notes to decide where to go this morning, but most of them were acai bowls and it's like too chilly for that in my opinion. So I got this like vegan munchie burrito with like scrambled tofu, potatoes, my fave, like literal tater tots and a burrito, avocado, pico, I think but I'm gonna hold on to it right now and try to walk maybe to the pier if I have time. It's like 7.05 and I need to be back by probably like 7.30. So I think I can make it work. So 
So I really want to eat my burrito on this bench on the pier, but this bird is freaking the fuck out of me. Like, is he gonna attack my burrito? He's looking right at me. Oh, do I try it? <laughs> wow, this is so good. Yum. I was like vegan cheese too. Okay, I'm gonna leave and walk and eat because I need to get back soon, but also he's literally still looking at me. And I don't know why I'm so freaked out, but I just can imagine this bird attacking me and like taking my burrito with him. And I would actually be upset. So not risking it. OOTD fave white sneakers from Amazon, thrift shop jean dress, and just a plain Zulily turtleneck. I might be chilly in this honestly, but I really wanted to wear it, so. We made it! Woo! Okay, now I'm going to get ready and vent. Ooh. Okay, so you can barely see me. First of all, look how tiny this toothbrush is. And look when I brush my teeth. My whole hair is in my mouth. Okay, now let's talk about today. This morning was good. I showed you my walk, it was beautiful. Work wasn't bad, it was just far away, productive. However, the traffic was crazy. So from Westlake Village to Santa Monica, it took about an hour as expected. And then from Santa Monica to, where are we now? Almost LA, um, like in between. Culver City is what it's called, is where our Airbnb is. Literally, when I first mapped it, it said 20 minute ride and then as I'm in the car, the ETA just kept getting longer and longer and longer. Then once we hit like a 40 minute mark, it's still got 20 minutes left. So it took an entire hour to go 10 miles. That's way worse than Chicago and I'm freaking pissed about it. Just because I literally feel like we're gonna spend so much of this trip in a car because we're gonna be going to LA, which is like 10-ish miles from us now. And then like tomorrow we're going to Long Beach, which is super far. Saturday, we're going to Malibu, which is also super far. And I'm just like, wow, if the traffic's that bad, we're literally spending our entire day in a car. So please send the traffic gods our way so we can get through it and enjoy our magnificent time in LA. Okay, second piece. Let's talk about the weather. LA is never cold, ever. The lowest it gets ever is like maybe 65, usually in the 70s. However, this week, they're literally calling it freezing because it's in the 50s and it's snowing in like Las Vegas. It's literally insane. I'm like, the one week that we choose to come, don't get me wrong, we're gonna make the most of it, but literally the one week we come, it's 55 today and like 60 the rest of the days, and then next week it gets back up in the 70s. I'm like, of fucking course. <sighs> okay, rant over. Thanks for listening. Girlies are ready to hit the town. Woo! I knew you were gonna win. <laughs> Cheers! Oh shit. We should not be hovering this? over a heat fan in LA. Are you kidding me? We literally ordered an Uber at one point. That was what, four blocks away? <laughs> It was so close, but it's like actually very cold here. It's so disappointing. Come on, LA, warm up! Lauren, rank the bars. You are so ugly. <laughs> I can't even look at this right now. Look at Lauren, not me. Um, the one we just entered. No vacancy, oh no my God. No vacancy was cool. Which, time out, time out, talk about it. Well, we entered and it was a Wait, woman. do you want to act it out? No. <laughs> it was a woman on a bed with money in her fishnets, and I thought we were about to get a strip tease. I thought we entered. Lauren? Yeah, she the literally thought we, were, room. she thought we were in the wrong room, like asking for a stripper. She's like, holy frick, we're not in the right place. <laughs> That's how the speakeasy worked. Like, he walked in. And she pressed a button, and the bed slid, and there was a whole staircase ready for Yeah, us under the bed. It was so cool. We went to another speakeasy called Good Times at Davies. Davy something. It was another speakeasy where you like entered through a fridge, and can't you just walk in the bar? <laughs> I don't understand. No, I love that shit though. No, it's cool. 
Well, this one though, like was like cheaper. Like there was like $4 beers and oh my God, we didn't pay for any beers because <laughs> the first time we ordered a beer, the guy next to us ordered for us and we heard what his tab name was. So Lauren, Daredevil, <laughs> when we went up for our second beer, literally used his name. So thank you, Mr. Fox, <laughs> for two beers tonight. <laughs> so super nice of you. We really appreciate the beer. <laughs> we also went to a piano bar, which was cool. It was like beauty bar in Chicago, if it you've been. It was Disney themed, so it was kind of weird. That's but... what sucked. So like, I love Disney, but they were only playing Disney music, so like, I'll recognize it. Like I recognized a couple like Lion King songs, but like I don't know them where I can sing along. So I was kind of like not interested. Stamp yeah, Grammys. Tramp Stamp Grannies is what it was called. Probably cooler on other nights to be honest. We also got there right when it opened. So like probably way cooler at night night, like late night. Are you falling asleep on the fan? It's so cold. It's so warm. This little fan is like literally so powerful. Like I'm far away and it's like overheating. I hate that it's called the heat dish. <laughs> what we're in at like midnight which would be like 2 a.m. our central time so not completely mad about it we still got like more nights to make up for it you got this girl you're good are we all the way yeah. oh my god good job girly slightly hung girly is being active <laughs> go us <laughs> look how steep This boat ride literally has vegan mayo and vegan bacon to make BLTs. Like, how sweet. <laughs> this is the line. Okay, hi guys. Gonna do an update as we're re-getting ready, kind of. It was a good day, first full day in LA. We got up and despite being <laughs> a little long, <laughs> made it up the Baldwin Scenic Hills Overlook thing. After that, we drove all the way to Long Beach, which it was there was no traffic on the way there, but like, when did we leave? Like 10.30. Uh -huh. So I guess that's like an awkward time of day where there's like, I don't know, no traffic and went on a boat and it was so fun. We saw literally like at least four dolphins, so many, and two sea lions, that's all I wanted to see because the experience, like all the reviews were saying it was like, it was a good place where people like whale watch and like see dolphins and stuff. We're like, ugh, we have to see some. But it was freezing. We brought a blanket, thank goodness. But it was literally like the entire trip. I'm like, okay, maybe we'll warm up like when the boat stops and we're not like moving with the wind. No, it was so cold the entire time. Still worth it, highly recommend it. Then we shopped around the outlet mall nearby. Literally only spent like 50-ish dollars and got so much from Forever 21 and Cotton, Cotton On. Um, so I got like two hats, two pairs of pants, a dress, and then we went to Smog Brewery, which is like a famous brewery in the area. Honestly, like it was cool, but I was like, Meh. It was fine, yeah. It was fine. Like, we stayed for, like, I don't know, 30 minutes-ish and just, like, split two small, tiny, like, four-ounce beers that were good, but I don't know. Maybe it just, like, wasn't the mood at the time. It's National Margarita Day. Amaze. So we want to go get Mexican for dinner. And then we don't know what after that because yesterday it was kind of, like, it was a chill bar crawl. Like, we went to dinner and then, like, just, like, went straight to bars after. There, it was just like chill everywhere. Like nowhere was like partying or like dancing or like there was no like upbeat, like everywhere is fun, but just chill. So we feel like tonight we either need to come back after dinner and then go to like a club or like, I don't know. We just need to like ask for recommendations or something from people at dinner, I guess. Okay, now I think that's an official update. See you later. <laughs> Thank you.
guys, we've been hiking to the Hollywood sign for like at least 30 minutes and we cannot figure out how to get to the top. Like it's literally right there. How do we get there? Hi guys. Hello. It's been a while. I feel like I've been, we've been like on the go nonstop, so I haven't even like picked up my phone to talk yeah. to it. I've taken like mini clips, but like since last night I haven't updated you guys. So let's start with last night. After Dinden, we went to this Mexican place for National Margarita Day, where we ordered a drink that was... The grossest margarita <laughs> in the land. It was literally grass mixed with ass it was so horrible grass and ass that's exactly what it was honestly <laughs> basically I had to like plug our nose to get it down over like a period of 30 minutes for one drink finally left went to the most fun gay bar <laughs> called the abbey which is like famous apparently i think maybe maybe not i feel like we just think everything's famous that's here because it's la but like other people probably don't even know what it is by the way we're like roasting ourselves in front of the heat dish right now <laughs> Anyway, this place was insane. They had like go-go dancers everywhere where these guys were like literally so strong. The dancers could like hold themselves up on these poles and like do pull-ups while holding their legs out like this. <laughs> no one helping them. Like it was wild. I was like, honestly, like A, you guys look good up there. Like you worked hard for the bod you have. B, that's freaking- that's really hard. That's freaking so respectable. Like you guys are skilled. Like it was, it was real talent. And we actually stayed out there. First we were, first of all, back up for a second. We were debating whether to go or not. Very hard. Yeah, like we were <laughs> tired and full after the Mexican food. And we ended up going and like I was, I was sober. I only had two drinks. Lauren had like three beforehand and- I was sleeping in the Uber there. Yeah, we, felt, we literally arrived and Lauren was like, if there's anyone in line for the app, <laughs> this is exactly him, this is her. We're getting right back in the car and going home. <laughs> But we arrived, there was a short line. We got in, warmed up quickly, cause it was literally ass to ass. Like you could not move. We It took us forever to even find a tiny space where we could like hit some dance moves. But we stayed out until like 1.40 ish. The bar closed at two. So we left like right before close, which in central time, Chicago time, was like 3.40, so so fucking late. It was literally so fun last night, and now we're like sitting here chilling. It's Saturday, by the way, <laughs> in front of the heat dish the next night, wondering like, should we do it again? Like it was so fun, but we're also like so tired and so cold. Mm -hmm. We can't decide what to do. Okay, fast forward, let's talk about today. We got up this morning mm -hmm. to go to the Hollywood sign. <coughs> we map it, we drive all the way there, like 30 freaking minutes. And it takes us to the Griffith, Griff, Griffith Observatory. Griffith, ob why is that so hard to say? Griffith, Griffith Observatory. It doesn't sound like a real world like to me. Which is like an overlook thing with like a cool view, but it was packed and full of people and it wasn't the actual sign. Like you can see the sign from there, but it's not the sign. So we drive another like 20 freaking minutes. <sighs> we find a spot. <laughs> I'm literally th like having PTSD from this morning because it was so it was frustrating. So long. We finally find a spot like on the mountain that the Hollywood sign mountain is. And if that, if that makes any sense, that sentence was not a sentence. Mountain. Yeah, so we walk for like 40 minutes before realizing like we're pretty fucking far from the actual sign. Miles. And Lauren's been before, so she's like, dude, we have to like literally, from the point we were at it, like this after 40 minutes, she's like, you have to go all the way up, all the way around, loop, and still go up to get behind the sign. And at this point, like, we've been walking towards a sign, seeing the sign, and taking pictures with and of the sign for this whole 40 minutes. And I was like, mm, no, like, I'm done. I love walking, but when you have so much more to do during the day, I was like, we can't spend our entire day here. It was already, like, noon. So we decided to turn around, but I still saw the sign, took pics, etc. So I'm not mad about it. Oh, it feels so good if you put your head back. I can't do it, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Then we come back home, we get ready, we drive like maybe 30 minutes mm -hmm. to Malibu Winery. And it was like our favorite place so far. Like it was incredible, like perfect vibes, great wine. By the way, we met this lesbian couple there 
that were like amazing. They're from Chicago, small world, live like literally like 10 blocks or less from us in real life, which is crazy that we're both here at the same time. They were so cool. Like they're both from out of the country. I can't remember where. Bosnia. Bosnia. And uh, like, I don't know, like people like that, when they tell me their story about like how they just like get up and move, like inspire me so hard. Then we made it to dinner to a place called Malibu Farms, which was beautiful and like, such cute vibes like the string lights and just like so cute right on the water in Malibu. However, it was freezing outdoor where you like obviously want to sit right on the water. So that was kind of a bummer and very pricey by the way, like great food, mm -hmm. such great meals, but very pricey. But I don't feel that bad because it was like the only like super expensive, I don't know, like fancy-ish like meal that we've had so far, like, but so good, so filling. And here we are now, like still full from that meal. <laughs> like, I don't wanna lay down. What do we do? Where do we go? Do we, do I stay or do I go now? Okay friends, I have made it home safely to Chicago. I guess today is one of those days where I was having too much fun where I forgot to vlog, so today was actually the best day of the trip, besides coming home of course. Lauren and I drove all the way to Laguna Beach and I just cannot get over the beauty. It literally looks like Greece, like the Mediterranean with all the rocks and the white concrete buildings and it was just, like literal perfection, I could not get over it. And mark my words, I will live there someday. We enjoyed a beautiful walk and some lunch on the water. It was just like unbelievable. And then we drove to Venice Beach, which was just honestly insane, not earth. It was literally like crazy. Like I have never seen so many odd humans in my life. Like a man walking around with horns on his forehead street performers everywhere, music everywhere. It was just like crazy. Still beautiful, like mountains off in the distance that don't look real, beautiful sand, beautiful water, just like crazy boardwalk. Venice is, it's out of this world. But I did enjoy some veggie tacos from a little street restaurant thingy-majig. I had a mushroom taco and a sweet potato taco and I also had sushi for dinner because I couldn't choose between the tacos and the sushi. But yeah, overall it was such an incredible trip and I just, every trip that's like warm that I go on, I just realized like I need to get the fuck out of Illinois ASAP. So I feel like California is the perfect place because it's like you have the water, you have the mountains, you also have big cities. So it's like everything you could want in one. But I feel like Florida and the Carolinas are like more affordable warm areas that I'm probably looking into more so. But California in the future when I'm like rich as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Also, had to touch on this because I feel like I expected everything to be like crazy prices in California and people to be so mean and neither of those things were true. So total myths. Like prices were expensive, yes, don't get me wrong, but if you're already living in a big city, AKA I'm in Chicago, and the prices were the exact same. Like apartment prices and home prices when you look them up are not the same, but like food and drinks and Ubers, like everything was like very normal. And like everyone was so nice to us. Like 
so friendly, wanted to talk to us, wanted to know where we're from. Like, that doesn't even happen to me in Chicago. I was just like so mind blown by how nice people were because I always hear that Californians are like so mean and like Chicago people, like Midwesterners are supposed to have this Midwestern charm. And I'm like, mm, that is not what I've experienced. Also something that was like super cool to me was that every place we went out to eat, there was something on the menu that was labeled vegan. Every place, not one place did I have to create my own vegan meal, but we didn't go to any like all vegan restaurants or just like healthy restaurants. We went to very normal places and every place there was something on the menu that was completely vegan already and I loved it. I was so appreciative. Sad to say that I am back in Chicago. Um, it's 2 a.m. so I should probably get to bed so I can get some sleep before I go back into work tomorrow as a miserable employee. Thanks for watching. I love you all and I will see you next video. Bye guys. Oh God. <laughs> that was my throat. <laughs> you about to poop? No, it was my throat, not my belly.